The Chevelle here, we're gonna get started on some body work and uh, start sanding, prepping, and it'll be going into prime, and then we'll be painting it a silver. This is a panel we've been working on. We've done a lot of work to it. We didn't do anything to the body except we had to do some structural things so it was safe to drive down the road and put some floor pans in. A lot of mechanical work, a lot of suspension work went into it and now it's finally ready to go. The panel back here we've been working on quite a while as you've seen. Now we're finally on the body. All the fenders and doors are ready to go. Uh, we'll be finishing up all the body work on it and then we will uh, get it in paint. The Roadrunner we had to do some touch up on and we'll be putting the silver on it and then it'll be going back to Colorado. So we're doing the wiring harness on the Bronco and as you can see there's substantial wiring. I'll, we'll show you inside here but then inside the um, tub also in the cab there is substantial wiring that goes through there too to make everything work for this new Coyote going in the 67 Bronco. Just looking at some wiring now. What we got done so far looks like a lot of wiring but still got to put coating on it yet. Here I am putting the engine back in that day. One of the motor mount on the passenger side was a pain in the butt to get back in. But I got it eventually. Just hooking up some wires. I think we're hooking up O2 sensors. Still a lot of there. I think we're about halfway done at this point. wires I already cut off and what I already done. And that's what I got left to do. This is where I was Trying to get the crank sensor plugged in. I'm just showing everybody where it is in the back of the engine. It's right there where my finger is. Just plugging in the sensor now.
prepared the delicate work. Run, man. Only over here. This spot here, through the hole. To where the other wire would come out. Get my finger down. I'm sorry. Blurry a little bit, I know. Just showing you where we had to run the wire. Here I am running the wire itself. This is where the crank center now. Just feeding it through all the other wires. Feeding it through the firewall. Making sure it didn't get kinked to this special wire just for the crank sensor. Now feeding it to the fuse block, seeing what wire went where. Stripping the coating back so I get to the wire itself. Had to strip it so far back because one wire went on one side and one the other another wire went on the other side. Getting everything lined up and get the end on the wire and cut it down a little bit more. You have wire in, I'm gonna crimp it on the end though. Crimping the end down. Take it 
taping up one of the wires so it doesn't get interference from the rest of the electrical system. coating off the other wire so because they don't need to be on there and it's a pain and yeah it takes a while sometimes on that coating sticky too. Okay, now we got putting the wire back up there in the harness part. Getting ready to hook it to the fuse block. That one done, let's go and jump on the other side and hook the other side up.
on the Galaxy here, the transmission's coming back any day now. The engine's all finished up and we'll be putting that back in. Everything else is finished up on the car, so as soon as that's back, we'll put it in and it'll be ready to go home. Okay. This is a Dodge Demon. We got the right gears in now, so we'll be putting the rear axle back together. We're gonna be putting in, uh, putting on new wheels and tires. We'll also be putting in a new Holly Sniper fuel injection system. Um, and we'll get to show you all that all the way through. So. This was a shop truck. Uh, we're changing it up now. We put a new engine in it and we're gonna be doing some more upgrades and then redo the body. Um, we'll be selling this truck. It's available if you're interested and uh, you'll be able to see some new wheels going on, new paint, and then uh, there's a couple more things we'll be doing on the interior. Scooby, that's Scooby right there. 
tie it underneath the machine that's got the black and yellow and it goes cut. Yes. Not going to cut you guys to get the kind of thing. Yeah, smack down. All right. All right, we're walking away. We're plugging the light right here to the right. Sir. Sure. I want to run last now. Look at that. The Fall Guy. They always have action. Oh, yeah. Fall Guy does. Love that show. Yeah. I'll watch it. We got another corner plug. I got that unplugged. I'll watch it all right here. All right, Scotty, let's get out of here. Yeah. We're rolling. Come on, Scoob. Reaction. Reaction. What time is it? Here we go. We're walking out the door. We only got two minutes. What's that truck right? Ooh. We just saw a smashing on a, a, a GT Mustang. Looked like maybe an 05, 06. We're gonna sneak in here and not, not tell the guys. Look at that guy right there. I'm just gonna come on in here like this. Look around, just look around. There you go, slowly. Look around. Boom! Post office, post office, postal people. There we go. Walk it over here to Shelby. Walking it out, walking it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Hey, Fred. Glad you're back. Jamie, we want workers here, not hoodlum. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking he looks like a cartoon hey, character. Which one? Which one? The uh, like Tina from Bob's Burgers. Does that help it? Doing here. We're doing here. Back in. Try not to get fired. Here with that bag You know, the boss is going to do a nickname for me. You know that. Uh, what's that? Huh? What is it? Um, it's like uh, excuses. <laughs> oh. Because the boss is not giving me an excuse, you know, that this can't get done. <laughs> 
I need this for this. Excuses, excuses. He said, he, he had, he's got a name for me, and Shelby. Shelby excuses or something like that. Shelby excuses. Oh yeah, he's got his both <laughs> Oh yeah, so I'm that guy. Oh, Bossman's kind of smart, I'll give him that. <laughs> no, Bossman's kind of smart, I'll give him that. He's pretty slick. We got our two motor mounts in, Scott. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, why is your engine sitting on top of my kit? Oh, right, I guess that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still need to get a red foot that mirror around right there. Okay. So, but I do have uh, Jack Stan up under the frame. So. Okay. I don't know, climb under one, but say you got blocks or stands. I don't know. Uh, right. I don't know. Yeah. We always use a ball peen hammer when we put engines in. You gotta use a ball peen hammer sometimes. I'm just saying, this is a hammer once in a while. They see us on there, they're going to put it down. Yeah, they're probably, you know. This that good. Thank you. 